you turned on the Academy Awards, <laughs> then you seen this Billy Porter actor. I don't even know who half these dudes be, but um, wore a tuxedo dress and set black men back about a thousand years. But we back, good fellas sports TV. I appreciate everybody for checking in. Make sure you subscribe button, bell icon button. And um, he's also gay, and um, you know, but I still think it's it's, sh it's still a level of 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 how can I say a level of respect that, that a man should should have, and a black man as well. No matter if he's gay, don't heterosexual, homosexual, don't matter. Okay, as a man, you should have a certain type of pride. It, it's sad that he got to do stuff like this to get attention. I don't see any. Uh, I didn't see any other. White males, Hispanic males wearing a tuxedo dress, but you know, at the end of the day, we just it just seems like they trying to decapitate um the black male, man. They just trying to make us the poster child for D V and and crazy wearing women apparel too. And it ain't just Billy Porter, man. Obviously he stuck out, he went out there and, and women are known in Academy Awards or been on the red carpet at, at shows of supposed to be of, of top tier or elegance for wearing tuxedo dresses already. You know, and um, my whole thing is this is trickling down to to into the hip hop culture. Now, a lot of the a lot of the, the younger generation say, "Oh, the Isley Brothers dressed like that." Those were R and B groups slash pop groups. You know what I'm saying? Since hip hop started, hip hop has never um, had to copycat off of rock stars or or nothing like that. We've always made things look cool, and we've never we never. You know, we never really even tiptoed the line of of putting on women's clothing into this generation. We talking about rap, hip hop culture, not R and B, pop culture, blouses and old singers. We talking about like from the streets. And it seems like it's an agenda to push amongst the black community, not only just the hip hop culture, to emasculate a man, to make a man more feminine with the tight clothes these kids are wearing now. And the boondocks was white on cue. And this ain't just about Billy Porter wearing a dress. This is just indicative of, of what's really up under the surface. And these guys wearing dresses, you know, like him, tuxedo dressing when he, he should be able to dress like a man, regardless of whatever his sexual preference is. But the, the, these guys are wearing purses now. They're wearing tight pants, tighter than women. Um, They're wearing pink clothing. You know, they're wearing feminine stuff. You know, very, very feminine stuff they're wearing. You know what I'm saying? And, this, and, and it's funny that they're pushing this on our in our on our culture, and it's an agenda to push it on our culture. You know, and obviously this was a, a call a, a call for attention. You know, I, I don't see um, other gay males going on award shows wearing dresses and and wearing stuff of this nature. And he's known to be flamboyant with his dressing. But why do 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 black man, male man a black man have to go out there and and dress like this just to get attention? You know why we can't get equal attention by dressing formal, clean like our fathers' fathers' fathers used to dress? You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's it, people don't, and a lot of men don't see it. Oh, this is my man purse. Or this is my you know this is my uh my satchel. You know you know or 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 my fanny pack. Man, come on, man. If you told somebody I was wearing a fanny pack, a satchel. A man person in the 90s, man, you'll get beat up. You know, if your pants was tighter than your woman pants, you'll get jumped. You know, but I'm telling you, man, this is all an agenda to destroy the hip hop, destroy, destroy the black culture, man, and the hip hop culture. It's an agenda. You know, and it's sad that this dude got to sell out for, for, for being a tension seeker doing this, you know, and, and setting our culture back. No matter if he's gay or not, he's black first, so he's he's black. You know what I'm saying? I don't care about his sexual preference at all. But you represent us. And making us like a damn fool. But he ain't the only one. You know, he ain't the only one. There's a ton of young males out here that the boondocks predicted it with pearls and halter tops and capris and tight pants on that they pushing that agenda. The boondocks was to really show out there. But hey, let me know what you guys think about Billy Porter's dress. Never heard of Billy Porter. But let me know what you think about Cuz's dress. Make sure you check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can reach out to the email. If you got business questions, inquiry, sponsorship, or video requests, check out my Patreon. Dope content on there as well. Real cheap prices. We're on uncensored and uncut content. is what Patreon is about. Check out our podcast, our Hip Hop One on One Live Show. We got a playlist for that. And um, keep checking us out. If you want to make a donation, that link's always in the description. Continue to share, 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 share the videos, man. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow, Goodfellow Sports TV. We go.